Well, yes, we did make it with only a few minor mishaps and some of what the Hawaii Weather Service calls storm trade winds. Ho ho. Boat came through quite well, and here we are on the island of Oahu after a 19 day passage from Marina del Rey, pretty much intact. Yes, that whisker pole. Well, unlike some of my YouTube colleagues, I am not set up really for editing videos uh, while in harbor. I would rather be at home where nothing moves. Sure. Let's have 30 knots right here in the harbor. And Oahu's a marvelous place, but tomorrow, I think, if the wind gods cooperate, it'll be time to shove off for the mainland. As you know, the trip back uh, to Los Angeles from Hawaii is a bit longer than the trip here because we have to go north to find the eastward uh, flow of wind. The, um, the whole North Pacific weather system is dominated by this big gyre, then the lower limb of which is the trade winds, which blew us to Hawaii. But we don't want to sail back into them, especially at the current velocity level that the anemometer is showing. So we'll, we'll sail directly north for a week or two, uh, and in it, insofar as uh, only up there the winds go from west to east, and then we'll ride those like a sled all the way back to Marina del Rey and somewhere between 22 and 32 days, for which I have ample food, I assure you. Um, uh, and uh, you have to propitiate the weather gods, of course. And in the olden days, that would have meant examining the entrails of a chicken and making sure, by the way, that the liver has a good head on it because Caesar ignored that uh, on the Ides of March and things didn't go well for him. But I did notice this morning as I woke up a flight of birds that, that took off in a very clean diagonal to starboard, which I take as a, a very good sign for the gods. But just to be sure, and since I didn't have a chicken, I went to Roy's in Honolulu last night and had a very large dry martini made of Hendrix gin and some crab cakes. I, I thought that the crab cakes, when I cut them, were very encouraging indeed. So tomorrow, if things go well, and without any further ado, because there's nobody here that I know, the family's long gone, having put their seat backs in the upright position and home in five hours. Uh, I'll shove off, or at least stick my nose out and see how things go. Uh, and for those interested in following this uh, adventure, as it were, I'll put in the description the link to the so-called breadcrumb trail, which um, I file each day uh, as a noon position report with a brief excerpt, excerpt from the logbook, which some people like to click on to at least keep track of where Williams is today while they're doing their laundry. So tomorrow, off we go, 3,000 miles to the east. Looking forward to it.